is Chef Daniel Stern with Mama Jean's Market, and today this is What's Cooking Local. Uh, we're going to be doing a kimchi stuffed mushroom, um, and one of the first steps in this recipe uh, is basically cleaning out the mushrooms. Uh, what we want to do is take out the fins. Uh, these are basically uh, just the dirtiest part of the mushroom. They tend to attract a lot of what's in the air around the mushroom, so we clean them out. Uh, it's really easy. You take a spoon um, and you basically just clean the inside out. The fins should come out very, very easily. Uh, and you can just slide them right out, scoop them to the middle there. And this will help us because we are going to stuff this mushroom. Uh, this will help us to get everything inside of here. We use four portobello mushrooms for this uh, recipe, um, especially if you're going to be doing this at home. You don't want 40 of them, but you're more than welcome to try that. Um, so we clean out four of these mushrooms, uh, and then the next step is to build the filling for the mushrooms. So what we have here today is uh, kimchi, which is a pickled fermented cabbage. It's a little bit spicy. Uh, it is Korean in origin. Um, and it's got a really unique flavor. Uh, some people really, really enjoy this, uh, but I think it works really, really well in this dish. So you'll take an entire jar of kimchi. You will take sliced red bell peppers. We'll use shredded carrots. Again, this is a really, really simple recipe basically throwing everything together and mixing it and then stuffing it into the mushroom. Uh, what we have here is the zucchini squash. Uh, then we also have garlic. I'm going to use about half this amount of garlic. It ends up being about two to three tablespoons. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of uh, ginger as well. Again, two to three tablespoons should be enough. Uh, we use agave in this recipe. Uh, agave is a sweetener for this. Uh, it tends to round out a little bit of the spiciness of the kimchi. Uh, and just helps build a little bit of depth of flavor in this as well. Uh, we're going to use tamari, which is a soy sauce. Uh, again, we're going to use well, probably about half a cup. Uh, this again is going to build some depth of flavor. This is going to build the salt into the dish as well. Uh, we use a little bit of uh, green onion. Uh, reserve a little bit of this. This makes a nice garnish as well. So now all we're going to do is mix all of this together really well. Just use your hands. Just get in there. Don't be afraid. Just want to make sure everything's well combined. And then those mushrooms that we set aside, we're going to go ahead and stuff with this mixture. Now since there is a lot of vegetables in this, as you cook these in the oven, the moisture is going to cook out of it. So don't be afraid to build it up fairly high. It's going to sink down as you cook this. The moisture is going to cook out. I do this fairly evenly with each mushroom. Take a little bit from there. Now you'll notice there's a lot of extra liquid that's left inside of the bowl. You're going to want to go ahead and pour that over each mushroom. This is going to help to actually steam the mushroom while it's cooking in the oven so that it doesn't dry out. Um, and it also helps to steam the vegetables as well. Um, at this point, you want to go ahead and place it in the oven and bake it for 15 to 20 minutes. We usually do it at about 350 to 375 degrees. So what we're looking for is that the mushroom has been cooked all the way through and that it's nice and soft. Uh, we're going to plate one up. 
We'll do a little bit of garnish on this as well. Cilantro works really, really nice with this dish. So we'll just take a couple of sprigs of cilantro. Maybe a little bit of green onion as well. And there you have it. We have a kimchi stuffed portobello mushroom. This is Chef Daniel Stern with Mama Jean's Market. And this is what's cooking local.